Hello. Uh, this is a, a model of uh, one of the cells in the nervous system. And uh, this cell is called neuron. And uh, neurons in the nervous system, they uh, carry information. And uh, they communicate with other neurons uh, by using molecules we call neurotransmitters. Uh, in this model in here, we uh, can see some of the anatomy of the neurons. Uh, so in this area in here, we have the dendrites, which are known as the receptive regions, because that's where the information comes to uh, the neuron. Uh, then in this part in here, we have the nucleus, we have the cytoplasm, uh, organelles in the cytoplasm, uh, the initial bodies, and so this portion of the neuron is known as the cell body. The cell body leads to an extension known as the exon, which we commonly refer to as the nerve fiber. And the nerve fiber will uh, terminate into the axonal terminals, and the axonal terminals will lead to the synaptic nerves. Uh, in this particular model, we also see connections between two neurons. And uh, the connections between neurons are called synapses. So in this model, we see portion of one neuron. And so these structures that we see in here, these are actually axonal terminals of the first neuron that we call presynaptic neuron. So this neuron that we call presynaptic neuron will bring information to the neuron shown on the model in here which we call postsynaptic neurons. In the model, we can see that the axonal terminals of the presynaptic neuron, they can make connections to the dendrites of the postsynaptic neuron. We can also see that the Axonal terminal of the presynaptic neuron can also make connections to the cell body of the postsynaptic neuron. And in this area down here, we can see that the axonal terminal of the postsynaptic neuron, a presynaptic neuron, they can also make connection to the axon of the post synaptic neuron. So there are three possible uh, connections can be made between the presynaptic neuron and between the postsynaptic neuron. Exon to dendrites, exon to the cell body, exon to exon. The other structures that we can see on the model um, are related to the nerve fiber. Uh, so this particular nerve fiber is a myelinated nerve fiber. So we see the axon in the center here. Then we see the layer of myelin sheath around the axon. And these layers of myelin sheath are produced by the outer cells here, which are the Schwann cells. And this is the nucleus of the Schwann cells. We uh, can also look at the connections between neurons by using uh, another model. And uh, the model that we have in here, uh, this is called a model of the synapse. So we are actually looking at two cells. We looking at part of the presynaptic neuron and we're looking at part of the postsynaptic neuron. 
So we have two neurons, axonal terminal and synaptic knob of the presynaptic neuron. And we have the clear plastic, which is part of the postsynaptic neuron. If we look at this model in here, we also notice that the neurotransmitters that are used to communicate between neurons are stored in vesicles. All of these kind of cream color round structures, those are synaptic vesicles. The synaptic vesicles, they store the neurotransmitters and when the wave of depolarization reaches the axonal terminal, the synaptic vesicles will fuse with the membrane, just like shown down here in the models, and they will release the neurotransmitters, and the neurotransmitters will bind to receptors on the membrane of the postsynaptic neuron and causes depolarization of the membrane. And that's how the information in most of, all of the synapses in the human body are transmitted through neurotransmitters. And those kind of synapses where neurotransmitters are used to communicate between neurons are called chemical synapses. So that's part of the physiology of communication between neurons of the nervous system.